In this tutorial, we're looking at expressions. An expression is some JavaScript that can evaluate to produce a value. Um, rather than talk too much about this, I think it's best we just look at some examples. So let's do that. A is set to 4 plus 2, which is going to be 6. And then A is set to A minus 3. So here A is going to be 6. So here A is going to be 6 minus 3, which is 3. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is the addition operator, and this is the uh, the operator sub to subtract subtraction operator. And let's look at some more. So this is the division operator. This is the multiplication operator. Let's take a look at those guys. So uh, last we had a is set to three here. Um, a equals 3 over 3, which is 1, and then we have 1, a is set to 1 times 6, which is 6. Okay, those are pretty easy, so let's keep going. Uh, this word, I think this is pronounced modulo, but if I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, so this is the modulo operator, and what this does is um, basically it's going to return the remainder. So if we do, if we do 10 modulo 3, then the mod the modulus is going to be one. If we did, uh, you know, nine modulus three, okay, so nine divided by three is three, and there's no remainder, so that's going to return a modulus of zero. All right. So last we had a set to six, so here we're doing six divided by five. Okay, what's left over? Let's take a look. And one. Okay, so. 6 divided by 5, okay, 1, 5 goes into 6, but there's 1 remaining, okay, and what's remaining is the modulus. Um, I've heard that there's some slight differences between remainder and modulus, but for this purpose, we can just think of the modulus as the, of, sorry, as the uh, remainder. Okay, let's keep going. Um, here, the reason I wrote this out here is to teach you what this means, which is A++. Okay, so A++ means A is set to A plus 1. That's what A++ would mean. Or if it was I is set to I plus 1, that would be I++. They would be the same thing. So let's just take a look at this. All right, so basically what this does and what A++ would do in this situation is it's going to increment the value by 1. Okay, and you can see here's one, now it's two, it was incremented by one. Um, what I'm doing here is we're resetting A to zero, then we're writing it out, and then we're going to write out A is uh, concatenate. Okay, remember that here, this is not addition, we have a string here, and we're concat, uh, sorry, yeah, we're concatenating on. Um, a variable, a different data type that's not a string. This is a string and this is a variable. We're concatenating on the variable. The variable here is A++ and then we're concatenating on a break. Then we're going to write out A is currently A um, and let's see what this does. Alright, so A was reset to zero then what we're doing is we're checking A here. So here we did A++. And what I said was A++ was going to increment A by 1. Okay, And it did. Here, this incremented the A by 1, which we can see here. Okay, So why is it 0 here and why is it not 1? It's because when we put this plus plus after the A, it's going to increment A, but itself is going to evaluate as if it were not incremented. Okay, so that's what happens when we put these two plus plus after. It's going to increment A like it's supposed to by one, but if we evaluate it like here, we're trying to output it. It's going to output it as if it um, as if it wasn't incremented. All right. Let's see the difference with the next one. Resetting A to 0, uh, we're writing it out just to check it. And here A is 
concatenate. Now plus plus a. So we're moving these two pluses to the front now. And then we're breaking down. And the difference here is um, it's incrementing a, just like this guy did. But itself is going to evaluate as if it were incremented. So here you can think of like a plus plus is he's incrementing this guy, but he's not changing himself. But in this one, first it's going to update itself. So if we output it, it's going to evaluate to um, the new a value, and it's also going to increment this. Let's take a look at that. OK, so yeah. Um, a was reset to 0, and now a is 1. So here we had a is 0, a is 1. So you can see the difference that this made. All right, let's look at it a bit more. Resetting a to 0 again. OK, we're outputting that. Here we're doing a is concatenate on a minus minus, breaking down and then check uh, check what did this do to A. We're going to output A here. Let's look at that. All right, this is not surprising. Um, and so A++ plus plus and A minus minus is very similar. You can see that it did affect the value of A, as we're getting a minus 1 here. But when we output it, it's evaluating to as if it were not decremented. Okay, so this one will, this is a equals, uh, a is set to a plus 1. This is a is set to a minus 1. So this is to increment by 1. This is to decrement by 1. Okay, but it evaluates as if it were unchanged. Okay, and the final one. So same thing. Um, first, because we have this minus minus in front, it's going to decrement itself. Um, it's evaluating to the new value, which is uh, yeah, which is one less. Okay, remember we reset it to zero, and then we output it. It's minus one. Here it was. Um, here it was zero. Okay, so very similar to the one before. Um, here, this is not really necessary. We're just checking the value of a, and then a is set to a plus 2. So you might be saying, right, so a plus plus is a shorthand. And, and you might want to know, well, what if I want to increment by 2? I don't want to increment by 1. Well, we could do this, or we could do this shorthand, which is a, and then we do a plus sign, and then it equals, and then 2. So a is set to a plus 2 is the same as a plus equals 2. Okay, this is just a shorthand, so you can write it faster. And then this is a equals a minus 2. Let's take a look at that. All right, so we're just checking what it was. It's a minus 1, or negative 1. Uh, we increment it by 2. Now a is 1. We increment it by 2 again. Okay, here's increment by 2. Increment by 2, and then decrement by 2, and everything looks just right there. Let's look at some more shorthand. So you can guess this is a is set to a times 2. This is a is set to a divided by 2. And this is a is set to a modulo 2. Okay, so if we divide by uh, yeah, if we divide by 2, what's the remainder? This is going to return the modulus. Let's look at those. All right, so uh, remember we started out with a 1 after this uh, decrement operation. We multiply that by 2, and we're getting a 2 here. Um, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then the modulus, so... Um, Let's see, what do we do here? Modulus 1 divided by 2. So uh, we're doing here we're doing 1 modulus. Sorry, 1, sorry, <laughs> a is set to um, 1 
modulo 2. And that returned that returned uh, 1. Okay, so that's how those work. All right. Here um, we have b is set to 3 times 4 plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, so um, if you think back to grade 4, grade 5 math, um, we started to do stuff like this, but we should put things in parentheses. So if things were in parentheses, um, it would be much clearer to read. But um, anyways, even if we put it like this, it's still going to do something. And it's got, these guys have got their order of operations. So multiply and divide are going to happen before addition and subtraction. And let's just see what we get here. So B is 12.5. So let's see how did we get that 12.5. Um, so here we have 3 times 4. That's 12. So we're going to do that first. I believe, no, I'm not sure, but I believe it's doing this first. This is 12. And here we have 1 over 2. 1 divided by 2 is 0.5. So we have 12. And then we have 0.5. Now we can do the addition. 12 plus... 0.5 is equal to 12.5. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, here we're just writing out a, and then we're resetting a to zero. And then what we have here is b is set to a plus 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 three times four divided by two. So remember, this a++ is going to increment a, which a is 0 here. It's going to increment a by 1, but itself is going to evaluate to as if it were not incremented. Okay, So this should eval evaluate to 0. This is 1 after this does its thing, but this will still evaluate to 0. So this should be 0 plus 3 times 4 over 2. And uh, we got a 6 there. So if we think about what happened here, uh, we have a multiplication thing here. So 3 times 4 is 12. Divide by 2 is 6 plus, plus 0. Okay, That's why we got a 6. Now let's make a little change to it. We're resetting a to 0 here. B is set to plus plus A plus 3 times 4 divided by 2. So it's this is the same as above here, but the difference is A plus plus and plus plus A. So what this should do is it will increment A to 1, but itself will, um, will evaluate to 1. Okay, This evaluate to 0, this will evaluate to 1. So we should just get an answer that is 1 higher. Let's check it out. And we did 7. So this did its thing, as I said before, and then we add 1. And that's why we got 7 here. We're almost done. C is set to 3 plus 3 times 4 divided by 2. So obviously when you're writing your code, um, you don't want to do your expressions like this. We want to use parentheses, not only so it's easier for us to understand, um, but for you know other programmers that might look at our code and then they don't know what's going on. But anyways, let's see how this evaluates. Okay, and we got a 9. So let's try to figure out why we got a 9 here. We have 3 times 4, which is 12. And then we have a division, so we're going to do this next. This is going to come last. We're going to do multiplication and division um, first, and I and I believe it's going from left to right as well. Okay, so three times four is twelve. Divide by two is six. Plus three is nine, and that's what we got. Now let's add some parentheses. So here we have three plus uh, three plus three. So now it doesn't matter about the order of operations. Because these are inside parentheses, this will this is just like one six here. 
okay it doesn't matter about these this is this together is six and nothing can change that so we have um, well, let's just check it out and it gave us 12 okay so why did we get 12 well we have um, this is a six like I said six times four is 24 divided by 2 is 12 and let's see even if we did and if if it started here 4 over 2 would be equal to 2 times 6 would be 12 so either way um, it's the same and this was the thing that changed it by putting these parentheses this is a 6 whereas when we left them out it did this first and 3 times 4 is 12 so we got different answers. The correct way to write this out, and which is definitely the clearest, is um, if this is what we want to do, that is, 3 plus 3 is set to 6. So this is going to happen first, because it's the inner brackets. 6, and then we have another set of brackets. So you'll notice notepad++, plus plus, it highlights. This became red, and this became red. This is red, this is red. And this highlighting is going to be very helpful to you when you're writing your code. So the first thing we're doing is here is 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24 over 2. And let's check that out. Okay, and it's 12. 